source the code belongs there, right? Automatic doesn't really have any ID. That was a deliberate measure. Like when I started automatic, I deliberately kept WordPress at work and all my WordPress ID and everything separate. Um, because that sort of creates checks and balances. And so it's nice because corporations in the US, the only real responsibility is their fiduciary responsibility to the show. There's no mention of community or general good or anything like that. But when you have an open source company, one where all the code and intellectual, if you have a software company where all the software isn't owned by the company, um, you're sort of forced to do what's right by the community, right? So the way you make money in a place where the code and product is essentially commoditized, and you can have as many as they want, but you have to shift from economics of scarcity to economics of abundance. Right, so what becomes more valuable the more people use it? And that's the kind of services that we're trying to focus on uh, with Automatic. So the first thing we ever did, actually, early the first weekend after I left my old job, was uh, Kismet, which is an anti-spam system. Now, the Kismet gets better the more people that use it. You know, it's been running in five years now, four years now, and it's blocked like, close to 100 billion spam. Like some ridiculous, uh, who here uses the Kismet, by the way? Nice. That's a, that's a smart idea. <laughs> and um, so every person who's using it makes it better. And uh, there's some network effects. And the only thing that's proven sort of resilience against evil spammers over time. Because right? those guys are really smart. They're very resourceful. And they change their tactics based on your time. And so that's been a valuable source, right? And it's a painkiller, not a vitamin. So people get a lot of it. And some percentage of the people using it pay for it. Uh, WordPress.com is essentially hosting service. WordPress, right? And there's community features like tags and things like that, but the more valuable, the more people use it. So, the Kismet, WordPress.com, uh, where there's upgrades available for users, like you guys could buy a domain on there for 10 or 15 bucks, or big people like CNN, have what's called VIP, where they sort of can do some really fancy stuff on WordPress.com, so I think it's $500 per month for a ball. It's over an enterprise side of it. And, uh, Thank you. 
So they're not going to create anything enterprise real, anything that grows up in this. And you know what? We do. And we are. <laughs> and over time, it sucks less and less every day. And eventually, you create you know, amazing software. And I believe that the future of all software um, is going to be open source. Even to the point where I believe that Microsoft is going to open source Windows and IS and everything in the future. And it's just inevitable.